Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another captivating episode of From Start to Finish, presented by Firepreneur. We're your source for documenting the incredible journeys of small businesses on their path to success. I'm your host, Natali, and today we have a true genius in our midst, coming all the way from Nigeria and making significant waves right here in the United States. Please join me in welcoming the visionary entrepreneur behind the Great Shield, Mr. Akin Farmer. Akin's journey is nothing short of inspiring, and his unwavering commitment to excellence in stocks, cryptocurrency, and blockchain technology is a story that demands your attention. He's the mastermind behind The Great Shield, a leading training and coaching platform in stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, technology, blockchain technology, and the future of technology in Africa. Serving the Delaware, Pennsylvania, and Maryland areas, but before we dive into Akin's incredible journey, I'd like to take a moment to express our heartfelt appreciation to our incredible sponsor. They are the ones who make it all possible, allowing us to bring you these inspiring stories week after week. A big shout out to Firepreneur, the all-in-one platform where learning, creativity, collaboration, and community converge. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Welcome to our all-in-one platform, where learning, creativity, collaboration, and community come together. Firepreneur is an emerging web technology and business development platform, which offer great services in freelancing, digital services, e-learning, and networking marketplace. Discover our extensive collection of e-learning courses, taught by industry experts, to expand your knowledge and skills. Learn at your own pace, Access courses anytime and anywhere and unlock your full potential. Browse through our marketplace of digital products created by talented artists and creators. Enhance your digital experiences with high quality and unique digital goods. Connect with skilled freelancers who can bring your projects to life. Get access to a wide range of services from design and development to writing and marketing. Join our thriving community of professionals, entrepreneurs, and enthusiasts. Collaborate, share insights, and grow together in our supportive networking environment. Experience the power of e-learning, digital products, freelancing, and networking in one comprehensive platform. Join Firepreneur today and experience the power of connections. Visit firepreneur.com for an exclusive offer. Firepreneur, e-commerce on fire, now, dear viewers, we want to hear from you. Stay engaged, keep watching, and interact with us throughout this video. Remember to tap that like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and ensure you've subscribed and turned on the notification bell so you never miss an episode of From Start to Finish, presented by Firepreneur. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Let's return to our enthralling conversation with Mr. Akin Farmer and uncover how he's reshaping the landscape of healthcare education right here in the USA. My name is Akin Farmer, and um, originally I'm from Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, West Africa. Yeah. Um, so a little bit uh, about my background, uh, my profile. Um, I've been in finance for the past 17, 18, going on 18 years right now. Mm -hmm. um, I've worked with the big four banks in, in the United States. Um, I've uh, had different positions uh, up to an executive position within the banks. Uh, some of the banks I worked for, just like I said, the big four, mm -hmm. uh, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Barclays Bank, JP Morgan Chase, just to name a few. Good. And also, uh, by nature, mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm business oriented, yes. so I'm also an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I've been able to uh, start businesses, mm -hmm. not just one, mm -hmm. uh, two or three. Yeah. Uh, some of them, you know, you have to learn from them. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I'm an investor. Good. Uh, based on my background in finance, mm -hmm. uh, I've been in uh, investing uh, uh, business opportunity. I've been investing for the past uh, about 12 years now. Good. Uh, I am an investor in the U.S. Uh, traditional equity market. Oh. Also, in the last about five years, I've been in uh, cryptocurrency, which is the next big thing happening uh, in terms <laughs> of uh, uh, te technology advancement. Yeah. 
so um so that's a little bit about my background uh, no matter what degree you have even though even though you know you mm -hmm. think you have this degree or if you're fortunate if you've been working in an organization back in Africa you think you're an executive mm -hmm. when you come here you're starting afresh it doesn't matter from ground zero yeah. so I came in as a graduate um, the first job my auntie and my uncle mm -hmm. You know, got for me was at Walmart as a night uh, employee. Mm -hmm. So I was a um, uh, merchandise. Yes. I think they call it a stocker or yeah, something yeah, like. You're stocking. Stocking okay. merchandises right. at night. Yeah. So the husband would drop me off around 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. My shift starts at 11, mm -hmm. and then I walk to morning around seven. He would pick me. Oh yeah, I'm standing all through the night, <laughs> stalking and you know arranging stuff that yeah. customers have already thrown everywhere, yeah. stuck, scattered everywhere. Yeah. So I did that, and I was placed in a feminine department. Mm. So if you know what that means, yeah. uh, you know yeah. all these feminine products. All that. feminine products. I, I did so that. It was surprising I, I, to I, me. I've worked in beauty supply <laughs> shop before, so I know what you're talking about. So yeah. you know it was fixing hair and all that. Hair, <laughs> anything feminine yeah. is there. So that's where my department was at night time. Mm -hmm. And then most of my employees around me, mm -hmm. you know, they've been doing the work for some time. So they helped me, you know, get adjusted yeah. to understand how things are, were done. So I did that. But while I was doing night nice shifts at uh, Walmart, I told you my auntie, you know, as she's been in finance for yeah. a long time, she and her husband were able to talk to one of their uh, family close uh, uh, close friend, family yes, member, yeah. Yeah. who was uh, also a manager at a different bank. Yeah. My auntie's bank then, I can't remember the name now, mm -hmm. was in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. But they had a family friend that worked in Delaware yeah. who was working at Bank of America. But back then, it wasn't called Bank of America. Mm -hmm. The name of the bank was called... Uh, uh, I can't remember. It was yeah. a different name now. Yeah. It's been long. Okay. So, but true acquisitions yeah. and, uh, uh, you know, big banks acquiring yeah. smaller banks. Mm -hmm. Bank of America actually uh, acquired uh, this bank in Delaware and then it became Bank of America. So I came in, I applied to that bank, not Bank of America, mm -hmm. but by the time I was employed, um, I was employed into Bank of America. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got the job okay. even though I got the job it wasn't a supervisor job no, or it wasn't no a manager job no so mind you, you I'm still from starting bottom. from the bottom yeah. so I came in with a graduate but I was employed to work uh, in the where I would say warehouse in um, in the production room yeah where they produce credit cards mm -hmm. statements yeah. and all those things so I was working with uh, uh, people with the minimum requirements there was high school diploma. Yeah, so a lot of people working there are high school diploma yeah. uh, And I came with their first degree yeah. But I was humble enough to yeah. want to learn to, to want to, to you know adjust and grow yeah. So I did the work for about a year and a half mm -hmm. working I was one always one of the top performers because mm -hmm. I put on all my energy I wanted to stand out, mm -hmm. you know, so I was always almost top performer every month over mm -hmm. month and uh, the managers, you know, started noticing that who is this guy, mm -hmm. and then they would invite me and ask me questions, mm -hmm. and some of them find were able to find out that I was a graduate. Yeah. And then eventually, I got um, a mentor. Okay. The lady was a manager, and okay. she said, "You know what? I'm gonna meet you every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Let's mentor. Let me take a look at your resume." Mm -hmm. She saw my resume. She said. So my, I started at the bottom. Yeah. So she said, maybe Climbing. after a year, yeah. why don't you apply to this position? Mm -hmm. It's one step higher than where you are. I mm -hmm. said, I'm ready to do yeah. it. So she mentored me, and um, that's how we, you know, we became very close. Mm -hmm. I, I believe so much in networking so much. She helped me. I, I got in, um, I applied for the other position from credit card production room. Mm -hmm. I applied to go to... Uh, credit card collections, collections yeah. which is you're going to be on the phone yeah, calling yeah. customers to yeah. make payments. Yeah. I've never done a call job before, mm -hmm. but I was willing to learn. Mm -hmm. yeah. And mind you, my accent was still oh, very strong. <laughs> they will ask you, you have an accent, but you have one. Exactly. But what do you do? You're you need right. a job. You have to stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the interview. I, I got the job. So mm -hmm. I moved from level eight to level seven mm -hmm. so wait the higher your number the lower the job oh. you're doing so level eight was the bottom so i moved from level eight level eight to level seven mm -hmm. i got the job i learned the job to mm -hmm. call customers the same attitude mm -hmm. that i took from um the bottom bottom yeah, i applied to 
and then I started making calls. I learned it took me about six months to get used to it. Yeah. After that, I started becoming one of the top performers mm -hmm. too. And I knew this is not what I this this is not where I want to be for too long. Yeah. So my uh, the lady uh, that you know I had a uh, a mentorship with, mm -hmm. I still meet with her. I still go to her office, and after that, she continued to encourage me. So I moved down up the ladder from level seven up to level five. Yeah. So I kept on moving. I left uh, collections. I went to fraud department. Mm -hmm. From fraud department, I ended up being in an executive position within uh, the corporate world, okay. which is- So that was uh, still in Pennsylvania, right? No, actually the job was in Delaware. So that means right now, your, your family, the immediate family you came to stay with, they were in Pennsylvania. They, yeah, they- But they, they got a job for you for, friend that they knew in that was Delaware, in Delaware in okay, Delaware okay. so that made, that made you come to Delaware absolutely so that means you've been in Delaware all, all your life I've been in Delaware since 2007 oh, really? I only stayed with my auntie uh, about a year less than a year actually okay. so when I got the job mm -hmm. remember I told you I started with Walmart mm -hmm. so when I got the job in Delaware I was still living with my auntie okay. and I was still doing the night job mm -hmm. so I had two jobs oh. so the bank job is in the morning mm -hmm. early morning 6 to 2 30. Mm -hmm. so I'm um by 2 33 I'm already at home oh. so at night time I will go to Walmart mm -hmm. and I'll do so but after that I moved to Delaware so I stopped the Walmart job the Walmart job was in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania so I could okay. not commute yeah. so I stopped the Walmart job oh. I focused on Bank of America mm -hmm. job and that's how I you know got in finance mm -hmm. and banking and mm -hmm. investing so I moved from the bottom mm -hmm. up to uh, an executive position which is uh, a vice president role nice. uh, as a technology and a vice president in mm -hmm. a corporate audit why did you decide to set up, set up a business is this something that you saw people doing, or it was a passion that was uh, on your heart? You grow, uh, living, going through the, the journey process in the USA. Did you want to own a business, or you just wanted to do it? So, um, what, 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 what came over you, and why the name, uh, the, the, the Gracia? Yeah. So, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. So, I will go back to my early childhood. Growing up, my mom was an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom uh, ran a business. She used to. Um, my mom is late now, yeah. they are so rest in peace. Yeah. Um, she ran a, a catering business. Mm -hmm. She was uh, a chef uh, uh, for uh, an elementary school. Okay. So she was the main chef there. And I saw my mom growing up and I, when the schools are on holiday or vacation, mm -hmm. she has other businesses she runs. So I've always seen my mom as an entrepreneur. So I think that is embedded in yeah, me. Okay. I learned from her. Yeah. But coming to United States, uh, I've, you know, as I was working within the corporate organization, mm -hmm. I have met a lot of people along mm -hmm. the line, networking, mm -hmm. and one passion of mine is investing, which I picked uh, along the line mm -hmm. while I was working for Bank of America. I, you know, I, I met someone that was already an investor mm -hmm. uh, by trade. And uh, we had a conversation, and uh, it sh you know. So when you I, say trade, you, you talk about st stocks, right? Stocks. Okay, good. So when I say trading, mm -hmm. I mean uh, you know trading the equity markets, yes, the uh, United States equity markets. Mm -hmm. uh, the we have different markets. We have the NYSE, oh. we have the Nasdaq, we have the S and P five hundred. Mm -hmm. So those are three huge markets within mm -hmm. the equity market in yes. the United States. So. I met this um, uh, person that we, you know, we bonded and mm -hmm. we started a networking opportunity together. Yeah. And then I was exposed to understanding how investors in, invest in the market, how they analyze risks, mm -hmm. how you know what they look out, what they look for, how they read the books of organization, mm -hmm. and how to start it. So it became a passion for me, mm -hmm. and I started doing it. At the back of my mind, I wasn't thinking of business or mm -hmm. at that point. So I was working for the bank, but I was also trading and investing. Mm -hmm. uh, like a hobby. Uh, like a side oh, hobby. Yeah. It's just a passion yeah. on the side. Mm -hmm. So and uh, that, I continued, and I would talk about, about it to my friends, mm -hmm. family members, and they saw how passionate I am when mm -hmm. I talk about these things that I've learned yeah. as a hobby, I've picked up. And then uh, it, over time, it became something that I, I joined a group mm -hmm. on WhatsApp. And then a lot of investors were on that chat group. And then I was able to even bring some of my friends, including my pastor from yeah. the church I go to. I added them to that platform. They were learning, I was learning, but it's a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So in life, I would say something. 
you know, when you're passionate about something, no matter how difficult it is to other people, there's the meeting point. The, yeah, that's where God will meet you. Without it, passion, it's not there. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So I was passionate. Some people that I introduced, they, you know, they left the platform. Yeah. They they couldn't follow. Mm-hmm. So I learned a lot from it. Over time, I I realized that I've been, you know, having a lot of questions from mm-hmm. family friends. Mm-hmm. So I set up my own platform. So I started helping people, teaching. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, this is still an outside also. Yeah. So I would teach. Uh, I my pastor's wife at that point in time, were, you know, asked me to start teaching mm-hmm. in church. So I would set up uh, learning series yeah. at the church. So I was I was teaching teenagers. I was teaching grown ups for free. Or for free. Church so stuff. Just yeah, yeah church free. stuff for free. <laughs> so I would teach. You know. But I put so much passion in it. I would create slides. I would do this. So someone approached me one day and said, you know, this could be a business for you. You could actually, you know, and I... I so I, not to catch you. So all this, all this while you were, you were trading and as a side hustle, can you talk about the numbers? How, how, how much were you, well, how much were you making? Okay, so... Side hustle and, and, and training with uh, people in the stocks also absolutely so i started with just the equity market yeah. so i you know when i started i have what i call a trading platform yeah. uh, i'm not sure if i'm allowed to mention those names so no, the names you can just hide it but uh, the point is so just the numbers so like, i i portfolio way so, exa- yeah. yeah so i started small because mm-hmm. i was just learning so i think the first amount of money i put in a trading platform mm-hmm. uh, i think was about six hundred dollars mm-hmm. So I started with six hundred dollars in one of my trading platform. So I, I, you know, at some point in time, I would lose some money. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, I, so it became a learning process for me yeah. with that small amount. Yeah. And then over time, I, you know, I was able to follow other groups. I was learning, yeah. and then I started putting more money. Mm-hmm. So and over time, the money grew to about ten thousand dollars over time. And then with that ten thousand dollars, I was able to do more yeah. in the equity market, and I will show my portfolio or my account to people to impress them that over the last three years I've, I've yeah. made, and this was a side hustle. Okay. So I did that in the equity market over the years, mm-hmm. and with time, I grew this portfolio for from two uh, 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 about I wouldn't say from uh, maybe. Is it four, five figures to mm-hmm. six figures mm-hmm. over the years? So oh. I've grown my portfolio mm-hmm. and expanding fast forward mm-hmm. into cryptocurrency, which we will talk about oh, as okay. well. Mm-hmm. Uh, my portfolio has grown significantly mm-hmm. in such a way that I also uh, I'm also into advisory positions yeah. for people's portfolio, okay. which I help along the line. And mm-hmm. I have multiple portfolios that I'm uh, sitting as an advisor and advisory for them as well. Okay, good. So, uh, what year did you uh, register your business? What year did you decide finally that, that I want to run this as a business? What year? So, um, I registered the, the Great Shield Corporation, yeah. which is uh, the business I used to run my equity, yeah. uh, trading, yeah. investment, and learning. Mm-hmm. So, it's a combination of uh, It's a three. Group, group of businesses. It's a, you know, yeah. it, no, it's one business, one business yeah. but what the services the Great Shield offers involves, you know, advisory and mm-hmm. business management, mm-hmm. uh, investing, in, in, uh, investing strategies, mm-hmm. uh, security strategies. Yes. So so it's you know a part of the thing uh, service we offer is education mm-hmm. and learning series, uh, and where we also ha- act as an advisors for uh, investment and portfolios, and then we have the trading uh, and investing uh, 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 strategies yes. okay, good. as under uh, the Great Shield uh, Corporation. Oh. So I registered the Great Shield Corporation in the, in the year 2013. So in Delaware, right? In Delaware. Okay. So prior to the Great Shield, <coughs> I've also started a small business. Prior to actually registering the Great Shield, I've uh, I stumbled about uh, upon another idea. Mm-hmm. So I registered a business prior to the Great Shield, which is called Simply Middle. Simply Middle. Simply Middle. Mm-hmm. If you look up there in this room, we yeah. have yeah. Uh, the Simply we'll talk Middle. About that. Uh, when you finish, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the first uh, business I registered because okay. I saw an opportunity. Uh, in the small business space, mm-hmm. especially in Nigeria. Yeah. So I started that. It's a technology, it's an online platform, mm-hmm. a technology business. Yeah. Uh, but we, let's focus on the Great Shield Corporation, mm-hmm. which yeah. is my second business, which I registered mm-hmm. in 2000, uh, I think 12, 13. 13, okay, good. So maybe uh, the same year that I started my business. Okay. Year. Okay, good. So 
Uh, with a great shield right now, what are the services that you offer? Services, do you deal directly with client or you, 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 you serve as a maybe like a, a not like a storefront or is something like more corporate based so it's more of a corporate base mm -hmm. so the the great corporation offers services just like i said we have we offer a learning series education mm -hmm. and learning series yeah. uh to understand how to start up uh an investment account mm -hmm. how to start up uh, um, your own long-term mm -hmm. investing in the equity market and also uh in the uh cryptocurrency markets mm -hmm. we also offers uh different inf investment strategies mm -hmm. if you want to do uh a mid to long term mm -hmm. or if you want to do trading every day, every day we can you know we offer those services we offer so we offer notary services mm -hmm. we offer investment management services mm -hmm. now we've helped a couple of businesses actually register their own business in the state of delaware because really? some people don't even know how where know to go yeah. so so we offer those advisory services mm -hmm. in terms of small business starting and you know how to manage it mm -hmm. so we can help you from actually starting registering website building mm -hmm. and so many other things mm -hmm. so anything that has to do with business we help you manage All that right. as well yeah. but the most focused uh, uh, part of our business is investing and trading and trading yes in so, both in the equity market and in the cryptocurrency market so that means uh, trading is, is when I hear that times I want to I shiver because <laughs> 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 I, I, I feel like uh, I have a friend that does it when he tells me I said what is this I, I, going to school, I don't like mathematics. Okay. One thing I don't like, I never trade though, I never fail, but I yeah. don't like it. So, what is trading? So, are you just trading like buying and selling? What, what is that? I, I want to know. So, the bait is simple. <laughs> the simple uh, <laughs> definition of trading is what you've just said buying and selling, buying and selling of stocks. So, it, it's so, not just buying and selling of just product. Me, like I have a store, buying shoe and selling or by included this is stocks it's stocks so so trading in the markets mm -hmm. equity markets mm -hmm. to be precise so when you're trading in the equity market mm -hmm. what you're doing is the same application you will use when you go to like a storefront mm -hmm. or you go to like you buy mm -hmm. at a cheaper price yeah. and then the goal is for you to sell at a higher price to make profit so what do you buy is this something that you see you go on the computer you say okay i see this is this is a word document file let me buy it or powerpoint <laughs> what, what are you buying so Anything? you're buying shares of a company shares so you're company. buying into a company there's a marketplace that you go there's a place okay. so that's where the platform happens there is always but many years ago mm -hmm. uh, for you to actually trade you have to be a stockbroker yeah. like a new york stock exchange yeah. stockbroker and you have to work in in uh, the um their offices yeah. in new york yeah as a stockbroker yeah. and you know just like we said earlier technologies has evolved so yeah. much uh, so early you know mm -hmm. in the 2000s there are different uh, platform that started an online uh, trading uh, mm -hmm. exchanges they mm -hmm. call them crypto ex I mean stock stock exchange platforms Perfect. online yeah. so there are a bunch of them right now mm -hmm. but back then we only have about two or three mm -hmm. uh, so you would register with such uh, exchanges mm -hmm. create a profile for yourself and then you link your bank account to mm -hmm. it and then you put money you fund the mm -hmm. um, stock exchange that you've created mm -hmm. so but what you're buying when I say trading in the equity market mm -hmm. equity market uh, represent uh, stocks mm -hmm. of a company mm -hmm. so it's a platform where companies that have gone into public mm -hmm. they've issued their ipo ipo stands for initial public offering okay. meaning the company is now a public company yeah. any individual can invest if invest. you believe in the company yeah. so let's use uh, a big co a corporation as an example let's say apple, apple facebook, or facebook, facebook or mm -hmm. i think facebook's name is now meta the, the, meta yeah, meta, yeah. Uh, tesla, uh, tesla all these big corporations yeah. i Amazon. Yeah. So if you believe in, 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 in the company so much and you re believe that the company is going to do well over time, mm -hmm. you can buy into, you know, buy shares of the company. Shares means a fraction mm -hmm. of, the company. of the company. So yeah. you say, oh, I have $1,000. Let me buy a share of uh, Tesla, which is mm -hmm. TSLA. Mm -hmm. So on that platform, any pla platform exchange that you use or that you choose to use, you can go there and type in the symbol of mm -hmm. a company apple is aapl mm -hmm. so it will come up for you tell you the current price of one share mm -hmm. of that company so if the share is about this price you can decide okay let me buy this stock because i maybe they're they're gonna um 
they're coming up with a new product. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple comes out with product every year. Yeah. So, so usually around that time, um, when they're about to issue a new product, the mm -hmm. price goes up. up yeah. Price for one shares goes up. So you can trade it on the day off or the days before. Mm -hmm. So you buy it at maybe $100 a share, mm -hmm. and it goes up to about one or two, one or three. Mm -hmm. You can sell same day, or you can hold for a few days. Okay. So based on your strategy, mm -hmm. You apply that strategy, you can make money that same day, and you can do that multiple times mm -hmm. a day. So you buy low, you sell high. You buy low, you sell high. Okay. So, so, so the crypto and the, what is it, if I will ask? Equity the, market? No, and the, and the stocks. Mm -hmm. Does it have any similarities or? No, they are, not, they are, not, they are not highly correlated. They are not correlated. Yeah. So uh, equities are equities. Mm -hmm. Crypto assets are, most of them are considered, uh, they're not considered equities. Yes. You understand? They're not stocks. They are like uh, um, commodities. Mm -hmm. You know how you trade oil, all this ad asset, gold, and all those things. So most, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, now XRP is one of them. Yeah. The regulators have considered them not to be equities. So equities means that this, what you're buying, you're buying a share or a piece of a company. Mm -hmm. But these crypto assets are considered commodity. So if there's no central person that you're saying, oh, I'm buying Apple. Something happens to Apple, you can sue Apple, the CEO or the mm -hmm. company. Yeah. But Bitcoin, there is no single person. Nobody knows na Nakamoto, so right? Th that means it makes that risky, though. You're, you're investing in something that you don't see any person you're de dealing, dealing with. So That is the goal. How, 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 how good is that? That is the goal. Because yeah. if you read the white papers, mm -hmm. these things are run uh, independently mm -hmm. on the computer, on the server. So there's a, there's a you know, there's a trust. Mm -hmm. So one big thing about blockchain is trust value. Mm -hmm. Trust. There's always a trust in what but human beings sometimes we we change, we, we change yeah. and you lose that trust and something happens. But the computer you can't mm -hmm. change those blocks. So if there's a transaction on the blockchain, mm -hmm. there's a trust. Before that transaction goes through, it goes through multiple nodes on yeah. the computer. That's why you have servers. Mm -hmm. And then once they it goes through that I mean then one there is trust value mm -hmm. established. The transaction goes through. Mm -hmm. That's on the computer. Okay. So the trust is there for blockchain than human connection. So your favorite one is uh, uh, crypto, right? Versus stocks. Which one do you like? Right now. Which one are you good at? Which one do you have the most student? Right now we have about 30,000 subscribers. Somebody mm -hmm. want to contact you. Yeah. What will be the one that you, 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 you put on the table? So right now, since I found a cryptocurrency, yeah. I will put that over the equity market because yeah. equity markets is, you know, is different. Uh, each region, like mm -hmm. we have America, mm -hmm. the NYC, New York Stock Exchange, it can be in Nigeria and be trading here. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, the Asian market. Mm -hmm. There is... Uh, I heard about that. Mm -hmm. that uh, in, in the U.S. savings stocks, not all companies that you can, you can register. Ex exactly. Okay. But, but crypto, crypto is, is global. global. So you can create an account on Binance and mm -hmm. be able to trade anywhere, and invest anywhere. Mm -hmm. And the potential in, in cryptocurrency is so much. Yeah. It's so you can make bad. more than that it, of stocks. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. it's, it's a new technology. Mm -hmm. It's just developing, just like the early days of the internet. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency is just starting. The blockchain, the blockchain technology itself is is huge. Mm -hmm. So a lot of development and applications are coming on the yeah. blockchain. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Mm -hmm. I'm always happy to teach and to mm -hmm. train mm -hmm. uh, new, you know, folks that are want, you know planning to get into cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. So it's not even just about buying and selling or mm -hmm. trading it. Yeah. There is so much potential for the technology itself. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that over uh, the stock exchange. Right. So good. So by portfolio, uh, how many people have you trained so far uh, in those? Uh, uh, in terms of uh, numbers? Numbers, yeah. I, I would say I've trained over over 2,000 people. Really? So, and it's not just physically. Mm -hmm. it's uh, online I've been based. online based, yeah. you know, I have clients even from Nigeria. Yeah. I've trained, you know, the people go on my website, mm -hmm. you can sign up for sessions. Good. And I've been invited also, sometimes I've done free trainings. Mm -hmm. uh, the numbers might even be higher than 2,000 mm -hmm. because I've done uh, social media trading, mm -hmm. um, training sessions yeah. on uh, IG Live. Mm -hmm. I've been invited to different for forums to, you know, talk about it. Mm -hmm. So I've trained more than 2,000 right, people good. interested in cryptocurrency. So uh, aside also, 
are you okay talking about numbers like uh how that has helped you you're an entrepreneur right because yes. you run multiple businesses absolutely so you have a portfolio how has that changed can you talk about numbers maybe somebody watching right now he want to think about i want to trade is that good for me yeah. what can i make how much can i make can you just uh, talk on that please so absolutely you know it's always good sometimes to encourage people with yeah. numbers because good, a, yeah. a lot of people they want to hear it yeah. and then they want to know is it possible yeah. so i will use one or two examples mm -hmm. for you uh overall mm -hmm. I've, I've made so much mm -hmm. in cryptocurrency mm -hmm. uh um you know big numbers yeah uh, but I'll use one or two examples for you to see what is possible yeah. for anyone listening and watching this yeah. channel right yeah. now. Um, I have a client that came to me, and I always use this client as an example for mm -hmm. a lot of people. So he came to me uh, in the last cryptocurrency. Go, we go through what they call four-year cycle. Yeah. So we go through bear market, and mm -hmm. then we go into bull market. Mm -hmm. So this individual came to my office, and we sat down. So he wanted to know about cryptocurrency. He had an idea, but he wanted a professional. So we sat down, I looked at his portfolio, his plans, mm -hmm. and he told me he has so much money, this amount of money to mm -hmm. invest. So I helped him, I said, let's put this money here. So overall, he had, uh, so if you're listening, mm -hmm. he had a lot of money to invest, mm -hmm. and then I would go to someone else with small number. Yeah. So this individual came to my office, he said he had about $180,000, to invest, yeah. but he doesn't know how to. So we sat down. This was a prior to bull market yeah. in twenty, uh, the twenty twenty uh, bull market we went through. Um, so, and then I helped him, mm -hmm. you know, strategize. We put the money in, in some good projects: yeah. XRP, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, mm -hmm. and all these good projects. So yeah. some of the certification I have might not actually be up here. Some of these are actually, um, so like I'm part, I told you we do notary services here. Mm -hmm. So I'm also a member of the American Societies of Notaries. So we do that. Uh, we have a, you know, a certificate of appreciation from uh, America here from a group uh, called the NCAD, you know, for you know, helping people invest and understand how to invest in the market. Uh, this is a, a certificate of incorporation in Nigeria one of our businesses, Simply Middle, is also registered in Nigeria. Maybe we'll talk about this another day. It's a micro financing company where we help small businesses. We give our loans to them in Nigeria. Uh, and then the loan can be in the range of about 50,000 Naira to half a million Naira. So we do that with Simply Middle. Uh, also, uh, that's the out of office for my notary services in the state of Delaware. I have a project management professional certification. Uh, this is our insurance uh, frame. So ISECA is the um, auditor certification I told you about. Mm -hmm. CI, CISA, certifi uh, Certified Information Systems Auditor. Uh, I'm also a member of the, um, uh, is the Institute of Internet Auditors, IIA. So that's my certification of being a member of them as well. That's my uh, college uh, master of uh, M my MBA, Master of Business Administration from Wesley College. That's also a plaque from Wesley College. And you know, our business registration in Delaware, so to show that we are current in the state of Delaware as well. Um, and then these are some of the projects I like to invest in, XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum as well. So right. thanks for coming through thank today. You, thank you so much. Welcome to the world of buying and selling freelancing services where talent meets opportunity. Firepreneur is an emerging web technology and business development platform, which offer great services in freelancing and digital services. Are you in need of specialized skills or looking to showcase your expertise and earn income? Look no further. On our platform, you'll find a diverse community of talented freelancers ready to deliver exceptional results. From graphic design and web development to writing and marketing, our freelancers offer a wide range of services to meet your needs. With just a few clicks, you can hire a skilled professional, collaborate seamlessly, and bring your projects to life. Freelancers, this is your opportunity to showcase your skills, build your reputation, and grow your client base. Join a platform that connects you with clients who value your talent and are willing to pay for your services. Whether you're a client in need of specialized services or a freelancer ready to offer your expertise, our platform is here to facilitate your success. 
Experience the freedom and flexibility of buying and selling freelancing services. Join Firepreneur today and experience the power of connections. Visit firepreneur.com for an exclusive offer. Firepreneur, e-commerce on fire.